Hi, I'm here with James from Samson Biologics. Hi, James, how are you? Hi, Chloe. Can you introduce yourself to me, please? Sure, I'm James Choi, uh, Head of uh, Sales Support at Samsung Biologics, which comprises uh, project management, marketing, and global public affairs. Thank you. So you recently announced that work is set to begin on Plant 5. Can you tell us why you decided to build this new plant? Sure. Uh, the best way to explain that is uh, by explaining our uh, entire operations, which includes, at the moment, Plants 1, 2, mm -hmm. 3, and 4. Uh, plants 1, 2, 3, and 4 are all in our BioCampus 1. And Plant 4 actually went partially live uh, last October, and it should be fully completed by June of this year. Uh, when all said and done, that comprises uh, of 604,000 liters of capacity. Uh, but we saw uh, continued demand from our clients, uh, thanks to their success. Uh, we wanted to get ahead of that and start construction of Plant 5 in our second BioCampus, which is adjacent to our current uh, BioCampus 1 and is actually about 30% larger at, at 80 acres in, in land mass. So we're very excited by that as it marks the next phase of our growth. Yeah, of course, that's a lot bigger. Um, so Plant 5 will introduce advanced dig digitalization and sustainability mm -hmm. features. Are you able to tell us about these and how they will benefit your customers? Sure, um, all of our plants uh, have a fundamental design concept and every plant that we construct, we apply the best practices and learnings from those plants. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, we retain some of the best practices so that uh, it's easier for us to train our staff and rotate them across plants. And that allows us to uh, get our uh, plants up and running as fast as we can. Uh, so Plant 5 uh, incorporates a lot of the best features of our existing plants, one, two, three, and mm -hmm. four, but also utilizes the latest in digital technology that will allow us to uh, share real-time uh, information with our clients, uh, have some advanced security features, uh, as well as sustainability in mind, uh, uh, leveraging uh, you know, efficient energy use and uh, all those concepts to really reduce uh, scope one and two uh, within our operations. What do you think is currently driving demand for outsourced mm -hmm. manufacturing of biopharmaceuticals? Well, as I alluded to earlier, uh, the sex, uh, success of our clients, uh, just the industry in general, mm -hmm. uh, which can be attributed to a lot of macro factors, such as the continued uh, growth in an aging population, uh, the prevalence of disease, but at the same time, uh, the advancements in uh, new drug discovery, uh, access to those drugs, and the overall um, state of the, uh, the industry. Uh, so all these factors have uh, continued to drive uh, the demand and uh, the growth in uh, biopharmaceuticals, especially in, in our space of biologics. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what uh, enabled us to start the uh, construction of our second biocampus. Perfect. And plant four, um, you said, is nearly at completion. And it's soon going to be operational. Are there any gaps in the market that it will, that it will help fill? Yeah, so plant four is actually up and running already. It's partially operational. So. The best way to look at Plant 4 is it's actually two plants in one. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, the first half that went operational last October is uh, six 10 kilogram, uh, kiloliter bioreactors. So that gives us 60K capacity. Uh, the second half uh, is really our large scale uh, plant uh, model, which is based on 12, 15,000 bioreactors. Uh, and we really know how to operate that because that's basically a footprint of our Plant 3 design. Uh, plant two is actually 10, uh, 15,000 liters. So we really know how to optimize the uh, construction and design of that uh, plant. And I think what the, you know, plant four upon its full completion, what it offers to the market is a variety of different scales. It allows the flexibility of our customers to balance uh, the utilization of both capacities um, and manage really a portfolio of uh, biologics. Thank you. You also recently announced plans to open a regional office in New Jersey. Yeah. Why is that so important for Samsung Biologics to have a base there? Yeah, so uh, we were excited to actually have uh, the grand opening <laughs> of our uh, New Jersey uh, sales operation uh, this Sunday. Um, and the reason it's important is if you look at our client base, it's mm -hmm. primarily mostly U.S. and European customers, the major you know, biopharma. If you look at the top 20 biopharma uh, companies in the world, uh, currently 12 of them are our clients. 
Um, and we hope to increase that. Uh, but in order to do so, as well as manage the relationship, we have to be closer to our clients. So we've been able to, you know, successfully do that out of uh, Songdo, South Korea, but obviously we can do a much better job and uh, provide even better services to our clients by being in their proximity. Definitely. James, thank you very much for speaking with me today. My pleasure, Chloe. Thank you.